Hey, what is up, world of YouTube? It's your boy, B2J135. I'm coming back at you with another Pokemon Black 2 Y2 Wi-Fi battle. Got an um, interesting match for you guys today because it's a special day, July the 4th. I decided to do a July the 4th special, but it's not just that. It's also my 400th video special. Yes. If you actually look at my um, channel, you'll see I have over 400, I believe it's going to be 410 now videos, or 409 or something like that, but it's over 400, so I really want to, you know, thank you guys by doing this, as well as it being the July the 4th special, so fours all around, <laughs> but thank you guys for keeping me motivated to, you know, keep making videos, and I'm glad you guys enjoy them too, so the more you enjoy them, the more I'm happy to make the videos. So I hope you guys enjoy that, and let's go ahead and get to the battle preview here. Um, I face a guy from uh, the Zat form forms, the Zap um, chat, which I'm going to link in the description about as well. Um, where since smoke on Wi-Fi is down, I go there right now to uh, go for battles or um, the uh, Pokemon Pit beta area and see if those guys would like the battle. But um, I, I face a guy. I actually forget his name. I think it was Gears or G Girl Curl, something like that. Links in the description for his uh, information and his channel anyway. But um, just so you look at the team, there's got an American feel to it. As you can see, all the Pokemon are red, white, and blue, or have red or white or blue to them, or have an American of pop culture or American in general feel to them. Mamoswine is uh, white and blue. Uh, Latios is red, white, and blue. Scrafty is, you know, a gangster. <laughs> Uh, Scizor is red, uh, Thunderous is white and blue, and Mia Shao is white-ish. Uh, Togekiss red, white, and blue. Uh, Bronzong is actually a Liberty Bell, the Liberty Bell. Uh, um, Latias is red, white, and blue. Zangoose is shiny red, white, and blue. Of course, Braviary, that was no, no doubt in my mind to use that. And finally, Sableye, the Hopkinsville Goblin, American myth. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so we start off with, um, I love this thing. Okay, I'm getting distracted, but I start off, this is actually a rotation battle as well, so just something different for you guys. Uh, he starts off with the Dragon Dance by switching in his Scrafty, and of course I'm not going to stay in with um, Latias, so that, that'd be crazy. I mean Togekiss. So I actually go for the Calm Mind here. This is actually a pretty interesting set. Um, it's Calm Mind, uh, Dumbbell, Dumbbell, fucking Bronzong, and it's got a lot of craziness to it. Uh, I actually go for, switch into the Felicitas, and I go for the Thunder Wave, because I don't want that thing to set up anymore, and I'm hoping it doesn't have Shed Skin. And he actually goes for the Ice Shard, makes a pretty good play there, and predicts me to stay in, so there goes my token kiss, so as much for that. I didn't really need it, though. I definitely wanted to paralyze something, and that being paralyzed is no problem. So I decided to bring in Zangus, but I fake him out and go back into uh, Dumbbell to go for the Flash Cannon. And I only have a one um, boost right now, but it's going to be enough to do. Look at that damage. Man, this Bronzong don't play. This set, I love this set. It's a calm mindset, and it's so good. People never suspect it because Bronzong's always thought of being a, you know, a defensive wall and not a defensive sweeper. So if you let it set up a couple combo mines and oh my gosh, it's really it's really good. It's really good Pokemon. So he set up the Stealth Rocks, which is a very good play. I have nothing to do for Stealth Rocks, so I'm just like, you know what, that's fine. Uh, I go for the close combat. Look at that damage! I didn't even this is the toxic this is the toxic boost version, but I didn't even use it. And you just see how much that did? That's beautiful. Now I do have the toxic boost started, but I don't want to stay in because I knew he was gonna go for the ice shard. So I decided to go for the flash cannon just to get rid of Mammal Swine because that is definitely a big threat because I still have um Braviary and uh, Latia, so I need to get rid of it. So that's down, and now he decides to bring in his Thunderous, which I found that is actually I, I thought it was I thought because I did the thunder and he, I did the protect and he did the thunder, I thought it was, hmm, okay, you're probably scarfed or you're spexed. So I didn't get a chance to find out until um, after I defeated his um, Scrafty here because I go for the facade and just Toxic Boost is such a good ability. Oh my god, 50%. But because of the Toxic, it still kills you though. And I knew he was going to go for the Fake House, so I decided to switch over into Lati Ah so he can take that. But I didn't want Bronzong to take it. And uh, if Lynch, that's okay. As long as I can keep Lati Ah available, it's fine. So I decided to go back into Bronzong. I kind of predicted him to do something, probably switch, but he actually went for the U turn, which is still a pretty good play. And it also confirms that he's not reckless, he is the regenerator. So he goes into Scizor. I'm like, ooh, shit, that's not good. What am I going to do? Scizor, hmm. Okay. I can probably, you know what? I'm gonna switch over into, um, not Braviary. What's it called? Um, 
Zangus here and just go for the close combat and see how much that does. Look at that power! Look at that power! It's so strong. I am using Zangus from now on. <laughs> it's so powerful. I could have stayed in and probably went for the quick attack and killed it, but I didn't want to. So, um... Oh, wait, no, actually, I couldn't stay in because I was going to die. But if I did, I probably would have stayed in and did that. Because I think I am faster than the Scizors. Scizor. But uh, Braviary comes in now, and he goes for the Bullet Punch. He thought I was going to stay in on Braviary. I'm like, no, I'm not insane. So I go for the Flash Cannon here. So that was actually a bad play on his end. No, why do you think I'm going to stay on a Braviary? Choice Scarf, even, even though it is Choice Scarf. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so he goes for that, and it takes uh, take him out. Now, he brings back in his Mia Shao, confirming that it does have regeneration. But he switches into his... Thunderous here, and it goes for Thunder again. I'm like, you definitely gotta be either. You're, you're probably Specs. I'm, I'm, I'm betting you're Specs. So I think he's Specs. So I decided to go ahead and switch into um, Latias here. As I go for the Dragon Pulse, I was thinking about setting up too, because this is like a sub calm mindset. But I was like, you know what? I don't. I think I have enough speed to deal with whatever he does. But he did the high jump kick, and it did so much damage. I did not. I was like, wow, that power. But it still had, you know, the. Uh, uh, not very effectiveness to it. But now I go for the Dragon Pulse here as he switches in and goes for the Thunder from his Thunderous. And I was like, okay, I can live this. I can live this. And I do live it because he is Life Orb. He reveals that he is Life Orb. So I was like, okay, I can deal with this properly. But now that I'm paralyzed, it's not going to be as good. So I'm like, you know what? America! Fuck yeah! Oh, I didn't get the chance to be a cool American. No! <laughs> So I was going to bring America to destroy it, but yeah, Brave Red, I shouldn't have. I thought he would switch out, honestly, but I still take it out. So yeah, America! <laughs> Alright, now I bring in the Hopkins of Goblin, and I go for Taunt, because, you know, Latias, I'm probably thinking it might be Calm Mind, but it reveals uh, that it's uh, Choice Specs. This is his real Choice Specs user. So I was like, oh, okay. Alright then, I can deal with this. Uh, he actually goes into me and Shao, and I go for the Toxic, because I was thinking, okay, as long as I can poison one of these guys, this will be no problem. So he actually goes for the Stone Edge on uh, Sableye and it takes it out. Sableye doesn't have that much defense. But now that it's poisoned, I can, I can finally start taking away stuff. But I forgot that when you rotate in the rotation, you do protect. You can't do another protect because it's like you just did the turn. So I actually forgot about that. And he forgot about that. He's like, oh, I could have went for the high jump kick because he predicted me to protect. And go through the high, you know, when you miss a high jump kick, you lose your uh, life. You, you, you lose all your, like, half your health. So, um, yeah, good play on my end. And I finally take out, uh, what you call it here. And now I'm going to switch into Save, uh, Save Lai, uh, Latias here to take the uh, Surf. And I was going for the Dragon Pulse to do a lot of damage, but got paralyzed. So, hey, what can you do? Now, I go back into Bronzong as I go for the Flash Cannon here, and I'm like, ooh, okay, okay, as long as I don't get crit, I can take it out. And look how much that does. It does a perfect half, um, well, just about almost perfect half amount. But I'm like, okay, I cannot get crit. I don't want anything crazy to happen, so let me just make sure I have enough HP to deal with this monster. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I can do this, I can do this. Flash Cannon, yeah! Oh! That's good. Get He's still alive? <laughs> That's basically all. I was like, Are you serious? Get out of here. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. No. <laughs> That's exactly how I was felt through the whole battle. I'm like, please do not crit me. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> no crits. And that was like actually a critless battle, which is actually very, very, very rare to see. No crits in a battle. So, yeah, good game. Um. Ken Kill, I'll, I'll link your uh, name in the description. Sorry, I forgot your name. But yeah, good game, dude. And uh, happy 4th of July, everybody. Yeah, woo! We made it through another year. And now we got, oh man, I just cannot wait until October. I'm just so psyched, guys. Oh, and then there's this new video I'm going to show later about the new sword Pokemon. Yeah, I'll just leave a little quick picture of that sword Pokemon. I think it's called Monorpel, but I'll, I'll explain it to you later. And it's, it's a real Pokemon. I can't wait to, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right, guys, happy 4th of July. Don't go crazy. Don't go blowing your hands off. Don't go blowing your brains out. And don't get drunk, fat, wasted. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm done. B2J135 signing out. Have a happy holiday, guys. Deuces.